Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. We recently announced a set of new features to make it easier for users to find, interact, and re-engage with your app on Google Assistant. Details are on the post, linked in the description below. Back in September, we worked with Hackster.io to encourage you all to build smart, connected devices using Android Things and post your projects to the developer challenge for Android Things. The winners are in, and you can check them out on this post. The developer preview of TensorFlow Lite is now available. It's TensorFlow's lightweight solution for mobile and embedded devices that enables low latency inference of on-device machine learning models. TensorFlow Lite is lightweight, cross-platform, and fast. Take a look at the post for everything you need to get started. As part of TensorFlow Lite, we also released an on-device conversational model and a demo app that provides an example of a natural language application powered by TensorFlow Lite. We hope this will make it easier for you to build new machine intelligence features powered by on-device inference. Sling is an experimental system for parsing natural language text directly into a representation of its meaning as a semantic frame graph. The output frame graph directly captures the semantic annotations of interest to the user while avoiding the pitfalls of pipelined systems by not running any intermediate stages. Dialogflow Enterprise Edition is now available in beta. It expands on all the benefits of Dialogflow, offering greater flexibility and support to meet the needs of large-scale businesses. We also announced speech integration within Dialogflow, enabling you to build rich voice-based applications. Check out the post for more details. Cloud Spanner multi-region configurations are now generally available. With this release, we've extended Cloud Spanner's transactions and synchronous replication across regions and continents. That means no matter where your users may be, apps backed by Cloud Spanner can read and write up-to-date data globally and do so with minimal latency for end users. Container Diff is a tool for quickly comparing container images, and it's now open source. The GitHub link is on the post. Firebase Cloud Messaging is a cross-platform messaging solution that reliably delivers messages at no cost. It sends over 400 billion messages per day. We recently announced a new RESTful API, the Firebase Cloud Messaging HTTP v1 API, that makes it safer and easier to send messages to your cross-platform applications. Examples are on the post, linked in the description below. We're excited to announce Google Developers Launchpad Africa, our new hands-on comprehensive mentorship program tailored exclusively to startups based in Africa. Applications are due on December 11th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, and the first class will start in early 2018. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching another episode of The Dev Show. If you'd like to catch some of our previous episodes, they're right over here.